To each and every nominee, good afternoon, welcome, and congratulations. This luncheon is a tradition, one that's grown more special and important over the course of three decades. A luncheon that is not only about appreciating your accomplishments, but the chance to spend an hour or so to relax, reflect, and realize what extraordinary company you are in. Think about that when we take the annual class photo. More than just a snapshot, snapshot memento of today, it's a signature milestone for when it's displayed at the Academy next to the photos of the past, it will forever connect you with the giants of yesterday. It ensures your place in movie history and may very well serve as an inspiration to generation of artists to come. With your nomination, you are part of an almost century old community, which is not just a Hollywood community or an American community, but a global one. Filled with storytellers, domestic and international, one that is becoming more inclusive and diverse with each passing day. I'm so proud to be part of that and to see all the new faces among this year's nominees. Wow, what a difference a year makes. <laughs> A year when the Academy grew by 683 new members, men and women who will inspire the next generation with the same sense of wonder and enchantment that first touched each of you. Simply put, real progress has been made. Progress that I am confident will continue in the future as we continue to bring change to the Academy and our entire industry. When we expand our membership, when we reach out to be inclusive, we set a shining example. When our storytellers tackle issues of importance, from religious intolerance to racism to sexism, when we bring to the screen stories from around the world, we become agents of change. And when we speak out against those who try to put up barriers, we reinforce this important truth that all artists around the world are connected by a powerful bond, one that speaks to our creativity and common humanity. Today, we celebrate you, your work and your achievements. But each and every one of us knows that there are some empty chairs in this room, which has made Academy artists activists. There is a struggle globally today over artistic freedom that feels more urgent than at any time since the 1950s. Art has no borders. Art has no language and doesn't belong to a single faith, no. The power of art is that it transcends all these things, and strong societies don't censor art. They celebrate it. Um, <laughs> America should always be not a barrier, but a beacon. We stand up in support of artists around the world. We stand up to those who would try and limit our freedom of expression. And we stand up for this fundamental principle, that all creative artists around the world are, to, are connected by that unbreakable bond and more powerful and permanent than nationality and politics. And just as our work does not stop at borders, borders cannot be allowed to stop any of us. The Academy stands for all those things and is what it is today, thanks to all of you. And thanks, in a large part, to the wisdom, guidance, and leadership 
of our past presidents, Walter Marish, Richard Kahn, Sid Gannis, and Hawk Koch, all of whom are with us today. Gentlemen, please stand so we can show you our appreciation. I'd also like to introduce our 45 Academy Governors who are here with us today. Great turnout. I want to acknowledge your leadership and commitment and for all your hard work this past year. Will you all please stand? Leading our terrific Academy staff is our CEO, Dawn Hudson. And an amazing team that I am very proud to be working with. We'd also like to thank our fabulous, wonderful partners at ABC, particularly Bob Iger, Ben Sherwood, Channing Dungey. This year, we are thrilled to have Jennifer Todd, don't get that, and Mike DeLuca as producers of the Oscars show. They are prolific and personal, in command and in touch. And who better? to have at the helm of our biggest show than these two people, Mike and Jen, who have their finger not only on the pulse of Hollywood, but on that of those who love the movies. And we are so excited to have Jimmy Kimmel as Oscar host. <laughs> to use an analogy, it's like going into the Super Bowl with Tom Brady. Okay, I'm, I'm from New England. <laughs> and on behalf of the Academy, we promise never to send a mean tweet about Jimmy, because I know he will do an amazing job on February 26th. After lunch, Jen and Mike will take this stage to tell you more about the show. Again, congratulations on your nominations. Thanks for coming out today. Please enjoy your lunch and each other's company, and I look forward to seeing you again at the Oscars. Thank you. Thank you.